haven't done a number of videos on fuel cleaning products a lot of you have left suggestions on new products i could try as well as cleaning methods that could deliver the best results i've definitely read all your comments and i'm going to be testing more fuel cleaners with the classic before and after shots of the engine using a boss cook camera and today is your chance to shape how these future videos are going to look let's separate snake oil products from stuff that really work now let's get this here are the products I've got so far. The first is Cataclean, which is a product that has built a reputation for post-combustion cleaning, in addition to claims of cleaning pre-combustion areas. Second product is one that came highly recommended from a lot of you, and it's BG44K Platinum. It's the most expensive product that we have in the lineup, and we'll see whether it lives up to the hype. Third is the Liquid Molly Pro Line Throttle Valve Cleaner. Judging from my previous experiences with Liquid Molly, a lot is going to be riding on this one, and I have to say I have high expectations on this product. The good thing is that Liquid Molly states that this cleans the intake valve as well and not just the throttle body. After CRC intake valve cleaner left an underwhelming performance, I've been keen to find something that really does what it says on the tin. Fourth is the acclaimed Berryman Chem Dip Carburetor Parts Cleaner. I'm basically thinking of doing a piston soak here but keen to hear what you think. This has always been a last resort product for me if these other cleaners don't work. The last product is one I stumbled across and liked especially since I don't have access to premium gas. This product claims that one liter of it cleans up to a thousand liters of fuel and that it should be added to every fill up using this measuring cup. And here's how you can help me shape these videos. Let me know which product you want me to test first. If you've had any prior experience with any of these, are there any specific tests or methods you would want me to employ? And lastly, let me know if there are other products that you want me to add to the list. I may not be able to get all the products that are suggested just given how difficult it is to ship flammable or hazmat chemicals. I got these ones abroad and I'm expecting to receive them back in my base location. Which of these do you think would do the best cleaning and which one are you looking out for the most? Be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of it and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!